Hello guys, this is Street Service TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person on our channel. Nagpunta rito at nagjoin sa devotional natin. Dar and I shout out and God bless to Heart Ponsalan, Des Bilia, Molik Salamada, Diane Pakadalhin, Harlem O, Teach Her Files, Yans TV, Saki Karyon, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Danica Guanson, Res Ferrer, Saril Aribato, Danis... Filipino family, at sa mga angels na pinadala niya kagabi. God bless us all. Guys, kamusta po tayong lahat? Sana everything went well no, sa pagtrabaho natin. Sana we are all guided by God as we do things for His greater glory. Okay guys, let's now open our Bible to 1 John chapter 1, verse 1 to 8. Still, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used is so simplified na maintindahan talaga natin. Okay, this is the word of life and walking in the light. Okay, the word of the Lord in 1 John Chapter 1, verse 1 to 8 says, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, and which we have looked at, and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. The life appeared, we have seen it, and testify it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was appeared to us and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. This is the message we have heard from Him and declare to you. God is light in him, there is no darkness at all. And we claim to have fellowship with him, yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not live with the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all our sins. If we claim that uh, to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Amen and amen okay guys let's now pray yes father god all really have sinned ikaw lang god ang walang kasalanan sa lahat ng tao dito sa mundo you're a man at the same time god lord thank you that you're leading us to to become a light and to be in the light this us oh god to let our light so ocean before men that they may see the good works we've done and glorify you with art in heaven. Thank you, dear God. Teach us to become a light of people, particularly those who are in darkness. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Christian 1, 12. And it says, The life appeared. We have seen it and testified to it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and was and has appeared to us. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is Time Traveling Letters. More than one million young people take part in the international letter writing competition each year in 2018. The theme of the competition was this. Imagine you are a letter traveling through time. What messages do you want to convey to your reader? Wow, ganda na question yan, no? In the Bible, we have a collection of letters that, thanks to the inspiration and guidance of the Holy Spirit, have made their way to time to us. As the Christian church grew, Jesus' disciples wrote to the local churches across Europe and Asia Minor, Asia Minor to help the people understand their new life in Christ. Many of these, those letters were collected in the Bible we read today. What did these letters writers want to convey to readers? 
John explained in his first letter that he's writing about that which was from the beginning, which we have learned, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched. He's writing about his encounter with the living Christ. He writes so that the readers may have fellowship with one another and with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. When you have fellowship together, he writes, our joy will be complete. The letter in the Bible draws us into a fellowship that's beyond time, fellowship with the eternal God. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, no, that's the promise of God. Na. <clears throat> Yung traveling letters, the time is uh, re really ano, moving. No, We're getting old. But yet, God's letter is still there, no? particularly those which are written in the Bible. So, I encourage you guys to also read the Bible in order for us to uh, really grow in grace with God. No? Kasi yan yung instruction ni Lord. Uh, Bible means thou is book. Uh, ano yun? Uh, Bible is basic instruction before living earth. Da, yun da yung, ano, yung meaning ng Bible. I do not know. no. I just got it from sa mga fellowship, fellowship din. No? Yes, I was once in darkness, but now in life. Sino namang gusto, ang gusto tumira sa dark? Wala, di ba? We all wanted to stay in the light. So let our light so shine before men, that they may see the good works we've done, and glorify your Father with sight in heaven. Okay, guys, let's now proceed to a little question. In God's, if God wrote a letter to you, what would it say? <laughs> you know, guys, let your light so shine before men that they may see good works and glorify your Father's sight in heaven. So, yun yung sasabihin ko, no? So, next question. If you wrote a letter to a friend telling about how you have encountered the living God, what would it say? <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, when I was still in college, no, I remember because yeah, three days ago, if you are given 24 hours to live, how would you live? And what would you do with the 24 hours? Yun, no? Kasi naalala ko lang talaga, no? Kasi, uh, because of something. So, yun yung iano ko rin sa inyo, ibilin ko sa inyo, no? Okay, so guys, let's now pray. Thank you, Father, for the fellowship we have with you. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, sana na-bless tayo, no? <laughs> pakunti na pakunti na yung pumupunta rito. But in a way, uh, pag ganito ang mga content kasi, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya mabenta sa YouTube. Saka lang siya mabenta kung ang tao ay may problema, no? <laughs> Pero yung, I'm not praying na uh, we will have problem, but uh, I always prayed for you. For the success, for the blessings na Mario received. Okay guys, God bless us all because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This again with Switch TV. Kita-kita tayo muli tayo muli. Paalam!